When I started writing for this new album a year or so ago, I was encouraged by the owner of Aphrasia Productions, Elizabeth Uwe, to really kind of start with, who do you really want to record with? She'd say to me, who do you really want to play with? Who are those people? And when she asked me that, it just crystallized everything. So what I had done was I recorded the entire album myself, playing the drums when I could, playing the bass when I could, the upright bass, and um, playing piano, and then rec and the guitar, so kind of mixing it all together to make what I thought was a representation of, of that composition that I could now take to these players that I had, you know, like the dream, the dream band, that idea of, and say, hey, are you able to do this record? And here's, check this out. So here's kind of what I want you to do. And everybody stepped in to that role and played it beautifully, everyone. Everyone kind of got where I was coming from with these songs I've been working on. And that's what you're getting on Soul to Soul. We tracked the whole thing in three days, but you gotta remember that I had done the whole record before. So when they were hearing stuff, it was like, oh, let's just, we got this, Carmen. Let's just, and, and they would say to me, let's do it live. Let's not even play, you know, let's not do, play with the tracks. Let's just do a live take. And that live take is what you're hearing too in the, in the recording. out loud watching the clouds roll away I've been doing a lot with trumpet lately uh, Nolan Shahid on changes and now Randy Brecker uh, and that's something that I kind of felt like wait a second I was you know look back and think you know I really love the kind of the horn doing the horn I don't necessarily as a vocalist need to always kind of emulate the horn and that's not something that 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 uh, I think I'm motivated by. I kind of like when I just hear a beautiful horn next to me. You know, I dig that. So it was nice to have Randy Brecker involved and then his wife, Ada Ravati, doing the, the tenor sax on the, the uh, horn parts that you'll hear that I actually wrote. I arranged the horn parts for this record. It just so happens that this is also incorporated in the in the process of making the record that we find ourselves with so much sound and sonic beauty coming from um, accomplished jazz musicians. When will they learn? When will they? I have a lot of collaborations for the first time. I've collaborated with Julie Rayner, I've collaborated with Marilyn Castellaw, with Deborah Ash, and then there's the great, I didn't collaborate with her, but there's the great Mary Lou Williams, whose piece I'm doing. And then you get Myra Casales, whose cultural interest comes in from that whole Latin side. Um, Simpiwe Donna, South African vocalist, um, she has a wonderful modern, yet very traditional sound. And together we brought forth, I think something is a story that has needed to be told, at least from our perspective, as people of color, um, women of color, and you'll hear what I'm talking about real soon and you'll come to know this song and I hope you'll embrace 
what she has done and what she has brought forth in her own native, um, I'm going to say it, Kosa, Kosa languages, is uh, one of the many Zulu languages. We have died for so long With our hands under the moon I had the sound of the harp in mind. I'd done a gig with Carol Robbins uh, not too long ago and knew that I wanted to have that sound on the record. So when I was working on a tune, I'd kind of leave space or kind of imagine what that higher end of the register sonically would be like with vibes, you know, or, and with acoustic bass. Daybreak, daybreak, it never lasts for long. But it brings the light. Also, I wanted to use the electric bass for uh, those kinds of tunes that I thought had a flavor, you know, that worked better in terms of a groove, had a better flavor and, uh, for the song if it was the electric sound. And I like having that flexibility that Daryl Hall brought to the, to the sessions, you know? This melody of love still lingers in my heart Life is a song Um, so the vibes, the harp, um, you know, the guitar, and that's that string instrument. There's something fascinating to me at this point in my, I would say in my composition, you know, that part of me that loves to incorporate the sound of the guitar and the music. I began to fool around with the instrument in terms of how it supports the vocals and how melodies seem to kind of jump out of it in a way that I wasn't accustomed to with playing the piano. So I like this whole guitar feeling in the, in the music. Who's not afraid to feel between the darkness and the There are a couple of tracks called Grateful, part one and part two, where I really lay it out there, you know, the things that I think we all I need to remind myself of what matters so and, and also how grateful I am to have sustained, you know, a, a career in jazz for, for this long. I knew that I wanted to have this vibraphone sound, which is, and I've never recorded with vibes, you know, on a, I've never done a record myself with vibes and I've uh, had a gig with Warren. We hit one time and since then we knew that it was inevitable. I'm true. You know, some of the songs on this record have a very, you can hear tradition in them, but the composition is new, so you're going to get that. We, we kind of explore a lot of rhythms. I actually play an odd meter, three, four time. <laughs> and, uh, um, and, and, um, It'll be really interesting to see how the audience receives this. I love that whole thing of playing the music myself, and there's something always lacking in that, in terms of other spirits, other, you know, and of course these people are, are masters on their instrument besides. But having, the, to having that element brought into the music that I was already kind of sketching and scratching through, and have it reveal itself in such a wonderful way, is I think the thing that keeps me, you know, keeps me honest. It also redefines and reassures me that the sound of music called jazz is essentially the, the, the you know, the, the music of our lives, really. I'm truly, truly grateful.
Stardust, where ancient voices call me. Sardinia, grotto, earth, and sand. Sky song, like warm air caressing. Am I here with you? And the wall.